Hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back an Old Man in the Land of Grills. And yeah, we're talking about grill grates today. We actually are supercharging the Char Griller 980. You say, you need to char supercharge that thing? And folks, I'll tell you what, I, I've been contemplating this for a while and I saw that a couple other people actually jumped in and had grill grates custom make some grill grates for their Char Griller 980. And I think uh, they're, they're starting to offer it now. In fact, it's 18 and a half inches and I'm gonna show you the um, show you what I got and they actually have a number I'm gonna have uh, my order uh, there for you to look at so if you're interested in getting the grill grates for the char griller uh, first of all you can get whatever you want just remember the, it is 18 and a half inches from the front to the back and you see I got six panels you can actually get if you want to want it custom made so it fits tight on both sides you can have a, um, a half panel made to fit that way but I didn't see any need for that uh, but I got six panels in there, folks. It was like 158 bucks. Hopefully the price comes down plus shipping. But uh, I'll tell you what, this will definitely supercharge. I'm gonna say why grill grates. Uh, it's gonna help uh, with flare, flare ups. Um, they actually make grill grates for the master built uh, for the uh, 560 over there, 800, which I don't have, and the 1050. They, they make, and I know a lot of people that swear by their grill grates on their master built. Uh, so, you know, it, it was only natural that uh, sooner or later we should be using them on the uh, Char Griller 980. I think this will help getting uh, get a little bit better sear lines. The uh, cast iron grates that come with this, the enamel coated, nothing wrong with them. Uh, however, they don't give the best of grill lines. And if you're in the grill lines, you know, and you may not be, and this might be, you're saying, well, this is ridiculous. This is, you know, grill lines are overrated. Yeah. But to some people, they're important. So if they're important to you folks, this may be the way to go. And like I said, you don't have to do all of them. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it sure opens up the possibilities to sear a whole bunch more steaks. Plus, you can even things out on your grill a little bit more with them. And you can create some two-zone cooking a little bit uh, by um, uncoupling these and sliding three this way or two this way and another that way. And, and as we know by the fact that we have done some modifications and put a couple lid temps on there. We know that it runs hotter to the left, to the right, but it, in, in all, all, it runs pretty consistent. And if you're interested, yeah, and we did put a, uh, a rotisserie on there too. Now I'll leave the links down below to um, the rotisserie and I'll link down below to uh, putting those on there. Uh, none of it is mandatory. None of it is, uh, the grill will work just fine without it. You do kind of void the warranty by doing it. I don't think you void the warranty though by putting grill grates on there because all you're doing is putting different grill just different grates on there so that doesn't void the warranty but uh, these things will get smoking hot all i got is a couple pork chops today i'm going to show you a marinade that i did and, and a couple little uh, center cut three little center cut pork chops that i got for five bucks at the grocery store let's go take a look at that while we get this far all right like i said they got them for the master bill too for the 560 the 800 and 1050 just go to their their site grillgrate.com and then if you want to look at the uh, find the char griller one you got to go under more and then you want to go under uh, custom cuts. When that loads, you go down to you see 18 and a half, 18.5. And there's 18.5. Click on that. And then there, there it gives you, you can get a five panel set and a six panel set, four panel. And it gives you the option. Like I said, I would go with a go with it whatever you want, but uh, the six panel cover is very nice and gives you a lot of opportunity this year a whole heck of a lot of meat folks uh, uh so it's pretty awesome i'll tell you what now <laughs> let's go take a look at them their pork chops all right folks there's our chops uh we have been and i picked up some of this blue hogs pork meridine mix from barbecue brian over at uh, mad horse barbecue he, he says stuff is really good for uh, pork chops so i followed the directions had it had it uh in a Ziploc bag with these, these are just three center cut pork chops. I got them for less than five bucks at the grocery store. Not, nothing really fancy about them. And then once they're out, this Farm 407 barbecue, I'll tell you what, if you like pepper, oh man, stuff's really good. We're gonna finish up seasoning on the uh, grill grates on the char griller. Once they're getting seasoned, we're gonna give these a sear, give you a look see. All right, folks, we did uh, about 400 degrees for about an hour, with some canola oil on there. Now we set it up to 550, you can see we're at 550. 550, uh, that's pretty impressive. Quick look there. Oh yeah, we're getting seasoned up real nice here. Just about ready to put them chops on. Uh, 
give you a look see once those chops go on all right 500 degrees on both let's just see what our uh grow grates are running at here almost 600 so about a hundred degree difference between what the lid is saying and what the grill grates are. That's pretty impressive. Now it's time to sear. Now let's, <laughs> let's sear those pork chops. All right, folks, we did about a minute. I gave them a quarter turn. Now in about two minutes, and we're gonna give them a flip here. Yeah, you got the grill grate, fancy. Oh, uh... huh, look at that. Tell you what, that's pretty right there. Tell you, we're gonna go close it down and give it uh, another minute and a half, and then probably quarter turn, another minute, minute and a half. And then I'm gonna be putting, uh, I've got some sticky fire from, it's hot and spicy sauce and marinade from Burn Pit Barbecue. www.burnpitbarbecue.com, the veteran owned business. Really like this stuff, check them out. All right, uh, put the sauce on. Oh man, look at that. Let it sit for about a minute just to get it set. And then we're going to take those off and give you a look-see. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. Nice-looking pork chops. Look at them grill lines on there. Put the grill grates on the uh, Char Griller 980 Gravity. The marinade on there. Nice and juicy. i got to take a taste. Oh, yeah. Those are good chops, folks. Tom Horstmer, YouTube, thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, <laughs> thanks for watching. Well, while I got a hot my little, uh, might as well test something out. Uh, we, we all know on the master build with the rotisserie, if you're above, if you're, if you're at hot temps, you're not supposed to be, uh, you're supposed to take it off. And uh, this thing is pretty cool to the touch. Let's just see what we got for temps here. Yeah, we're, uh, in the low hundreds. So it's got a metal outside, but I'm sure those little grillers on the inside are uh, some sort of plastic, but uh, I don't see any issues with leaving this on. Uh, the Tom, Tom Horseman mod rotisserie is better than the, uh, the master belt. You can leave it on all the time.